Let's go to Tiffany Davila with the Department of Forestry and Fire Management joining us live on the phone. Uh, Tiffany, thanks for joining us once again. You've, uh, you've been really doing a, a yeoman's job for us this afternoon, giving us some perspective on this fire. Uh, I wonder, uh, for our viewers that weren't with us earlier today, take us on a, on a sort of a, give us a timeline of this fire, when it started, and I was amazed at how quickly this thing has grown, now 260 acres. Right. So the fire started about 3 o'clock uh, northeast of Apache Junction near State Route 88. It was initially called in at about five acres. Um, once our staff and our incident commander got on scene, he estimated it to be about 30 to 40 acres. Um, and then just about 30 minutes ago, firefighters were able to stop forward progress with an updated acreage of an estimation of 260 acres. And we'll get a better acreage count once we can get either air attack to fly it with the GPS or someone to physically walk the perimeter and get us a better uh, estimate or get us a better number on acreage. But uh, it grew very fast because of the fuels over there. Um, again, we're talking the base of the superstitions, northeast Apache Junction. It's grass. There's fine fuels over there. There's brush. There's scrub. That kind of vegetation dries out very quickly under these warm temperatures we've been experiencing. Once some kind of spark ignition source hits that tinderbox, basically, uh, fire moves very fast and spreads rapidly uh, within the grass and the brush. Uh, Tiffany, when we were on the air a little bit after 4 o'clock with you, um, you, we could see the flames burning dangerously close to homes in that area. Uh, has that been stalled, and are, are those homes out of danger at this point? So there is less, uh, the, the structures in the area are less impacted right now. Um, we do still have evacuations in place. Those still remain at this time. But crews were able to stop forward progress. And what that means is they were able to stop the forward movement of the fire. So we can't say that there is no more impact to those structures, but they face a less serious risk of being impacted by the fire. And I do have that information you asked me about earlier about the evacuations. Uh, law enforcement did evacuations east of Hackamore and north and south along Mining Camp Road. So that's where the evacuations took place, again, northeast of Apache Junction, northeast of the fire, and those evacuations still remain in place because, again, even though they stop forward progress, that doesn't mean they have any containment on that fire. All right, Tiffany Davila, uh, thank you again. Uh, you've done a tremendous service for all of the folks out there in Apache Junction who are depending on getting that information in a timely manner. And uh, no doubt, unfortunately, as the summer goes on, we'll be talking to you much more because it is likely to be a very active wildfire and brush fire season. Thank you so much.